Hi, Dunanistas, it's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel. Or as always, I welcome you back to my channel. So today's video, guys, is going to be a piggyback of my earlier unboxing. So if you have not checked out the unboxing and the story behind this beautiful bag, then I will put a link below so you can check out that video, how excited I was, and again, the story behind it. So for today's video, I am in the process of packing her all up to be able to carry. And so I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I do when I receive a pre-loved bag. So I am somewhat of a germaphobe, so I just want to make sure that the bag is nice and sanitized and so it can still maintain its beauty. So anyway, again, this is the Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Zip Flap Foldover in the color Kelly Green. So one of the first things that I do when I receive a pre-loved bag or any bag for that matter, is I just do a quick look over. I make sure I look at the corners to make sure that they are intact. I also can tell by the feet sometimes as to how much use it has had. And in this case, the feet are almost perfect. I don't see any wear and tear on the feet, which tells me that this bag was beautifully loved. Also, I take a look at the tassels. And in this case, the tassels are all nice and intact. I can tell that it was stored properly. And Again, very, very well taken care of. So the first thing that I do, guys, is, and I use just these cheap little antibacterial wipes from the Dollar Tree. And one thing that I always make sure of is I make sure that it is alcohol and paraben free. I don't want anything that has any fragrance or again, alcohol. Um, anything like that because I do not want to compromise the leather as well as any of the color of my bag. So the first thing that I do is I just take one wipe like this. And this is just, again, guys, just a, a basic antibacterial wipe there is no fragrance and again no alcohol so i feel pretty safe about using it on my beautiful florentine leather so let me just show you how i have her stuffed so i just use a regular plastic bag and i put stuffing on the inside like this. So this is just a bag and I just took some stuffing and I put it on the inside. And for bags such as this one, I don't necessarily care about making sure that the corners are stuffed with stuffing or not because it's not a bag that has very sharp corners. So just putting a bag full of stuffing works beautifully. So here is the inside. And again, as I showed yesterday during the unboxing, very, very clean. So what I do first is I just take the antibacterial wipe and I very, very lightly just go over like the suede here. You know, very, very lightly. I don't want it to get wet or saturated or anything like that. I just want to take a very thin very light layer of that wipe. So then I just take again my same wipe and I just go in the inside and I just make sure I wipe all of the inside. This is a little bit difficult to do on camera but you guys get the gist 
I just wipe it down really, really good. And if there were pockets, which this bag is a sample bag, so it does not have any pockets on the inside, but I would go on the inside of the pockets as well. So pretty much that is all I do is just make sure I try to cover every bit of the cotton lining on the inside. So then what I do is I take another wipe. I mean, you can use the same wipe, but I am just going to take a fresh wipe. And I am going to do the outside. Again, very, very thin layer. I don't want to keep going over and over the same spot. So I just kind of go over it very, very lightly, especially on the part that I know got the most use and the flap here that is the entry of the bag so I know that that flap is going to need some attention so then I just kind of go back and then also the tassels I always make sure to get my tassels really good because again that is a part of the bag that has been touched the most and has been used the most. So I just go over it like this with the white. And then again, I go on the inside of the pocket. And you guys, this bag was very, very clean. So it's not much that I have to do, but I still just want to go over it very lightly just to kind of help clean it up a little bit germ-wise. Not necessarily dirt, but germ-wise, I want to make sure that I am catching all of that bacteria. Okay. So for the front, I'm going to do the same thing with my pockets here. So very, very lightly, I'm gonna go over the pockets and I just have the pockets stuffed with some paper that I rolled up to the shape of the pocket. And then again, I'm just gonna very, very lightly and then a little bit more attention here on the front because this is an entry. So I wanna make sure that I get the pockets really well. So again, there is nothing to this, guys. This is just something that I do every time I receive a pre-loved bag. Um, and it just depends if I purchase a new bag. It just depends if it's in the plastic. I would skip this step, but if it's a bag that came off of the floor, the showroom floor, I would do this same process. And I just wanna make sure I get the bottom the corners just in case the bag has been set on the floor I want to make sure that I get all of those germs off so what I love about these wipes is that they aren't very wet so I don't have to worry about oversaturating my bag okay so now we have cleaned the suede part of the bag. And again, be very, very careful when, if you decide to do this, be very, very careful when you are using items on your suede. And again, I just use a very, very thin coat. And like I said, the wipes are not very wet. So for me, I haven't had any problems with it. So we got that. So now I'm just going to take another wipe and I am going to make sure I do another area that is probably full of germs and that is going to be my strap. Or if the bag had a handle, I would do the handle. And so I'm just going to take it apart right here really quick, make sure that I get this strap really really well and I also made sure that my hands were clean before I started this process 
So I'm just gonna go over this very quickly. And then tie it back up here. And then I'm also going to make sure I get the tassels on the sides. Just to make sure that I touch all bases of the bag. Just to make sure that I touch all bases of the bag. Okay, and then I can't forget my strap. I have, I always secure my extra straps in the makeup brush covers, and I will share with you guys about these in a minute. So here is the extended part, and I just go through and just do the same thing. Just make sure that I cover every little piece of the bag. Then I just wrap my strap back up and I put it back in the case. Very, very simple. This keeps it nice and neat, it keeps it out of the way, and it also helps to keep it nice and neat. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to go in and condition my bag. Though this bag does not need much conditioning, it doesn't look dry or anything, it's just a, a ritual of mine that I do when I get a bag, even if it's brand new out of the pack, I always go through and put a very thin layer of conditioner on it. So today, I am going to be using the Big Four leather conditioner, and I toggle between the Big Four and the Apple brand. Both of those are die-hard products that I use, absolutely love both. And honestly, I don't prefer one over the other. They both perform well on my Florentine bags and my other bags that have Vaquetta leather that I like to keep moisturized as well. So anyway, the Big Four Leather Conditioner, it says that it conditions, cleans, polishes, and protects. And what I love about the Big Four Conditioner is that it does not darken your leather. So for me, that's a huge plus. So what I use is, along with the Big Four, I use just a regular microfiber cloth. And I like the microfiber cloths because it doesn't soak up that much product. And you can use it over and over and over again. So I just take a little bit, and as you can see, this one is very, very thin, which I love as well because I really don't want a thick coat of my conditioner. So I'm going to just take just, as you can see, that small amount, and I'm just going to go over the bag. And as you can see, it is um, leaving a wet like look but it will dry and leave a beautiful beautiful finish to my bag so what I am going to focus on on this bag is the part that flaps and the reason I say that is because it has a crease right here and so I want to make sure that this part right here is very well conditioned so I will so I will go through like this and make sure that little flap is well moisturized so then I still see wetness on the bag so I don't need to add any more conditioner and again guys this bag really did not need any conditioning it didn't look dry at all but I thought that since I was disinfecting the bag and cleaning it up a little bit that I would just go ahead and put some conditioner on so there 
is that. And then I'm gonna make sure that I get my flap right here. And then I am going to take this part and make sure that you get your little loop right here because this part here gets a lot of tension. So you just wanna make sure that that stays nice and moisturized. So I am going to get a refill here, just a little bit. And then I'm also gonna make sure that I get these pockets really good where it creases here. Again, you wanna make sure that that part is very well moisturized because you don't want to start experiencing any cracking or anything. And honestly, I have never, ever experienced any cracking, even on bags that I saw that were extremely dry. So again, you just want to make sure that you cover every piece, make sure you get the sides and the bottom and this little strip of leather here in between. Also your corners, you want to make sure that your corners are well moisturized. And then also just to help protect them from any type of wear or stains or anything like that. You can't really prevent corner wear even if you just have your bags on the shelf in your bedroom or in your closet. It can still get corner wear just from sitting, but if you put a little bit of protectant on it, it will kind of help to, to slow that down or make it not as bad. So as you can see, my corners here are very, very well moisturized. Absolutely love a fresh condition. Absolutely love it. So this is what I do for my pre-loved bags. And, and let me share with you the brush covers. Um, the Dooninistas of the Den, which is my Facebook group, the Dooninista Den, we went absolutely crazy for these little things about, about three years ago. We discovered these and we went Amazon brush cover crazy. So these are makeup brush covers that are made of mesh and we started using them for our tassels on our bags. So what I do is I just open it up just like this, open it up a little bit, and then I just kind of scoop my tassels on the inside, and then you just kind of work it on there like this. You can either cut it or you can just have this little tip here on the end, but it just keeps your tassels intact, you know, during storage. And you can repeat the process for all of the tassels on your bags. Just to kind of keep them intact during storage. So anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And always be sure when using any type of conditioner or any type of products, just make sure that you do a small test spot somewhere on the bag where you won't see it. I always do a test spot on the bottom. So you just wanna make sure that you read directions very carefully and you do this at your own risk. It has worked for me, but you just want to make sure that you are smart about putting anything on your beautiful bags. So anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.